Hi beautiful beings of light, this is Anna and welcome to my YouTube channel in the month of May of 2021. And today we will expand on my previous video that I just posted uh, yesterday. And we talk about the uh, new jurisdiction, not only on the 3D level, but also on the galactic level, uh, the unseen world, right? Because we are actually ascending, we're going to the next octave, harmonic universe number two, where everything is about soul connection, consciousness expansion, living in peace, unity, harmony, Christ of fear, consciousness. And uh, I will also talk about the importance of uh, implementing galactic codex. Why is it? Because we are dealing with interdimensional beings in those um, astral planes uh, of existence and um, they've been invading and wreaking havoc uh, on this planet in this quadrant of the universe for quite some time and their time is over okay so they need to get, uh, go or they need to be rehabilitated or they need to start helping humanity uh, with the um, humanitarian projects uh, restoring this planet restoring our dna making this world a better place right and make america um, great again so uh, welcome uh, my youtube channel is uh, Yana Sibinska you can also find me on Awakening Our Truth youtube channel uh, um, my website is yanakalai.com it's y-a-n-a-k-a-l-a-i.com and uh, my email is kaliyana82 at gmail.com you can find that on the description box below my video uh, my videos are for educational informational entertainment purposes i'm here to inspire you empower you giving you information the way i interpret it through my soul signature energy signature the way you guys then interpret what i'm sharing with you becomes your world your reality and what you do with it is your responsibility as we are very powerful co-creators with the divine we're watching our thoughts feelings and emotions and deeds and actions as well we're powerful um, transmitters of energies we're 99.9% energy 0.1% matter right I have a yoga Ayurveda background I work with the um, chakra column and uh, so that's why uh, for me you know uh, and I define myself with uh, with spirit uh, more than um, this physical body and we're the ground crew yeah we work with uh, Ashtar, Ashtar command with the galactic command and uh, we're the system busters we're the renegades and uh, we're the change makers we're the second coming of Christ and um, uh, we uh, we are uh, helping with the liberation of this planet okay not uh, especially you know, from those higher realms of existence right uh, like I said I never joined a military I didn't sign the 3d contract um, uh, with those guys I never hold a gun but um, you know how, how do you then explain uh, things like that that I was then uh, I look like a marine let me see can you see that um and uh when I, I went to grocery stores people were like thanking me for service and um <laughs> never really happened it just there was this um all these surgeries all these things they do in those ashram planes so i know how those guys are so-called recruited right in the military that's why i was coming up with the uh, project for veterans and just kind of helping them to restore their soul uh, their energy they need to rehabilitate their dna and their mind and of course they need to reconnect with their soul with their higher consciousness higher self so they can heal and feel their multidimensionality so that's my disclosure okay or our disclosure disclaimer okay guys so only take what resonates with you i have some notes for those who had some questions um uh, from my previous video uh regarding how we then exit the u.s citizen thing right under the u.s corporation the maritime law um you know under the a crown the what is it the british monarchy and so on so there are some people that i kind of paid attention to i was advised to kind of study their information or i just kind of googled them or they just came online like this so first uh, was anna von rights from usa right her website is uh, anna von rights it's a n n a v o n r e i t z dot com you can also uh, go to her um a website the american state assembly.net that's where you can fill out um, the applications like you can change your id right well everything is capitalized your name is capitalized with uh, letters and you can become an american state national so you can do that through her through her website from great britain is mark kishan christopher his website is m uh, like mom k 
like key uh, christopher.com and you can go on his website and he's got the live life claim you can click on that and i'm sure uh, it will take you you know whether you need to fill up some documents or create your own id your own id um remember i was mentioning that he is actually the global chief federal postal court judge and plenipotentiary judge i don't know how to exp <laughs> read this he's pretty much a diplomat okay and he's doing his work um he actually even uh banded the uh, common law um so and he explains why right so it's uh, now just the public law the public court the law of land the law of soil we have but we have christopher james who talk about the common law and uh, you know uh in a good sense his his website is a warrior calls.com uh, so you can either study his website and, um, you know, he's got uh, kind of his own, um, well, uh, thing going on. Uh, United Earth, I think that's the guy from South Africa that kind of they're joining together and uh, teaching, educating people like this system, right? Uh, the draconian measurements, uh, the slavery, and we're nothing but uh, like a number on a piece of paper with social security number. So we need to exit that. There was this beautiful um, actually video with Sasha Stone, New Earth Project with BB, right? She was interviewed by Sasha and she was talking about the Unified Commercial Codex. So I know all these things. I also have been doing sole contract revocation since 2014. Um, you know, Andrew Bartitz, um, um, I know that I came across uh, him and i know that's also first time he was talking about the super soldiers he was uh, helping super soldiers with their healing kind of reconnecting so that's when i started like awakening because um it took me a while just to kind of figure out what in the world happened who these guys are uh in those astral plane doing so much they're doing so much uh damage to my aura my energy field right my chakras and so on uh they are playing with it like nothing with no cocking, uh informed consent uh you know um and so on so they're just kind of invading you infiltrating because we are the stars is light workers we have huge big aura energy field and they are siphoning um, energy from our, our light body right and from our soul and then they're harvesting that energy and then they are using um, that energy against us you know to dumb us down and just to uh, the you know depopulation agenda right it's including uh, with that thing horrible things that they're um, putting in those injections uh, and then they are blaming me for everything and I'm guilty for everything no 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 divine justice galactic codex everything is going to um uh, those interdimensional tribunals okay or with the solar reaches um with the um ascended masters and with galactic commanders okay um so um so that was the contact information for for those uh you know people uh who kind of wants to start making start making those changes uh on that um still kind of 3d level you know with the ids and so on under different jurisdiction um but remember with us and everything that is happening and you know the high frequencies uh the schumann frequencies is rising up like crazy right uh, we need to also integrate our soul so that's why we are implementing um, the galactic codex we are teaching talking about the universal laws <clears throat> law of one law of oneness natural laws you can check elisa rene's uh, website energetic synthesis.com and uh, as under ascension glossary and you can start studying that what it means so inner work is uh, very important it's part of who we truly are we are uh, spiritual beings having human experience i just want to show you guys that uh, we have those the bad guys that i had to really deal with um uh, please um, discover this book i mean explore explore more of this book because you know those um of course who um kind of resonate with my message they understand there are all these ets and aliens and who are the good guys and bad guys not only uh, you know on that physical plane because there's more and more disclosure right coming coming up with all these satanic rings and uh, all these criminal activities happening on the 3d plane but we are dealing with the uh, guys in those uh, astral plane right like for example march 15 you know this guy came to visit me right and uh, just uh, totally uh, damage again uh, my aura energy hijack my uh, consciousness and so on but uh, with the pleadians pleadian um um my pleading family you know with the with the command 1221 1221 1221 um you know i was just kind of uh, able to um uh, 
uh, nullify that kind of energy and that contract, whatever uh, they do to uh, us, uh, the star seeds, the light workers, right? We are here uh, for the ascension. Uh, we have an assignment. We have a mission. We hear the call of Mother Earth. Um, so yeah, we are going to the next octave, right? So we are doing whatever we can. And so many star seeds and light workers, they're either not able to, they've been compromised, jeopardized. Some of them actually, you know, destroyed. Um, uh, th th they're helping from those higher dimensions, right? So because there is no death, we are eternal selves. So it's time for people to also realize that. But, you know, this is my family from Taigeta, right? So, um, you know, uh, the Pleiadians, um, you know, the, the Galactic uh, Command, um, the uh, Jupiter Command and so on. So um, this is kind of what uh, I am... Uh, I am um, kind of, uh, co I'm connected with, right? And the Pleiadians, because they look like us, so that's going to be the first ET contact. And uh, no, let me see. Well, is there another picture? Yeah, so these are the tall from the tall, yeah. More. And of course, I'm connected to the Rishi Sages of the Himalayan uh, Mountain. I'm connected to, um, let me see, let me see, etheric, ethereal beings, um, and uh, let me see, from Vega system, let me see if I find, oh, and of course, beings like that from Mesa, um, the, um, the Darren uh, Egaroth uh, from Orion, actually, uh, um, extremely loving uh, beings of light, okay, helping us, the Orion Council. Okay, so that's why we are implementing the Galactic Codex, so the Universal Law can come online again. And uh, let me see, the Rishi Sages. Oh, oh these, uh, yeah, so those astral surgeries uh, in those underground military bases were then kind of uh, torturing those guys in the military. So you can see um, some of them look like that. Okay, so the thing is we finally start having more and more proof, right? And people, we want to prove... Uh, um, here in that uh, physical realm, very important, right? The, the ambassador of peace, for example, right? So the beings like that are helping us, okay, with the ascension. And these are just beautiful uh, drawings from Elena. So, and of course, I'm connected to the <clears throat> Rishi sages of the Himalayan mountains. They are protecting planet Earth, right? So, and also connected to the Andromeda Council as well. So, High Council, of course, Babaji. Um, oh, I don't have a picture here of Satya Sai Baba, right? So, uh, Solo Christ Consciousness. So, this is kind of what I've been uh, embodying, you know, implementing. Um, and, um, uh, you know, see how everything goes. Um, because for me, yoga and Ayurveda lifestyle, it's kind of my way of living. And I would love to co create communities right, with ETs, with my star family, with my soul family, and so on, where we can heal, um, rejuvenate, recalibrate, um, uh, update or activate our DNA. That's why please join us uh, for the Ascension Activation uh, Meditation, um, Unity uh, Meditation with Sandra Walter every Sunday. Um, you can also see my three hearts meditation uh, on my website yanakalai.com i also have a waterfall meditation on my website yanakalai.com forward slash water so um yeah and of course on my services you can see the audio version of galactic codex and um, the primary soul contract revocation from the archons from those negative aliens from those uh, fallen uh, archangels angels from that um, you know chimera group um, you know those who are wreaking havoc here in this galaxy in this um, solar system here on this planet but um, things are changing because the light is winning victory of the light Hallelujah. Amen. So let me then um, just go again over the Galactic Codex. Okay. And um, that's kind of how I feel that um, more and more I talk about it. I also, you know, I have to embody those energies. The more people are educated, uh, they can be familiar with it. Uh, so we can, um, you know, make this world a better place and we can ascend and um, live in this new um a paradigm, a utopia, um, paradise. Okay, so um, so let's uh, let's go over my notes. Uh, the Galactic Codex. That's the inner codex of all souls of light with their free will. 
and uh, why we are implementing it because we want to achieve freedom achieve freedom from the dark forces and liberate this planet earth and also help uh, with the hostage situation right uh, through education and tactical approach and of course military force as well so that's why uh, some of the whiteheads um, the, the military is being trained by the galactics um, the the light alliance um, um, the galactic command um, how to pretty much uh, free this planet from those negative ones who've been uh, torturing our children and also uh, so many uh, people and uh, young guys in the military has been mistreated tortured and um, uh, um, polluted or <laughs> just uh, horrible things happening okay so um yeah and we are here to create harmonious galactic cosmic society community okay so the galactic codex is actually a legal basis for the galactic federation again marina uh, marina well marina jacobi you can check her quantum manifestation marina jacobi.com but elena danan right talks about the galactic federation of world they are here they're helping us um so many times they help us just to disarm um the negative military um uh, the atomic uh, warheads right and uh, this one when you see the crop cycle that's they bring the message here of course there are also artificial crop cycles that's why for people it's very important to meditate and um, kind of uh, reprogram their uh, subconscious mind we Re rewire their subconscious mind uh, because we need to discern what is correct what is true what is not but that has to happen from within so meditation inner work is very important okay so um so we have the law of divine uh grace and so we have the right to uh to have a positive life experience uh, the, the whole suffering and pain thing is a programming from the dark forces to enslave humanity and uh, we came here to actually experience joy and creativity and it's time okay but first we have to resurrect all these energies okay uh, from our past lives also um, the energies uh, of Atlantis and Lumeria so we can transform change smooth the energies um, that's been happening horrible things happening after World War II right with all these experimentations including the Philadelphia project uh, with the MK Ultra okay so it's horrible uh, what um, uh, you know some of people some of us had to go through so and that's we are disclosing right we're the disclosure uh we are you know exposing the wrongdoings um of the of the negative ones of the dark forces in all arena of uh, the entire infrastructure and um you know uh, uh we're here to make this place a world a better place so um there is so we have the right for spiritual and physical abundance okay so there's no need to be homeless here so we have the right to ascend so those people they're actually uh, going to compromise their dna but there were there is a channeling from another lady michelle fielding and um you know she is bringing out like a new thought that um some of those um jabs are actually coming from the positive those white heads and they actually will help you activate your dna so again where's the truth the truth is from within right the truth will set you free the kingdom of heaven is within very important to connect with your spirit with your um also with your guides and be in your heart and um, get rid of that neg negative ego we you know that uh, ego human mind um so that needs to be transformed transmuted right because uh we have to look at ourselves our negativity also our pain body trauma that needs to be healed so lots of um healing inner work transformation transmutation has to happen that's why i'm posting those videos want to create communities where my soul siblings my family special military they have the chance to rehabilitate you know their dna restore their mind their common sense so they can start living their lives okay very important we are implementing the galactic codex um so we uh, there we have the right to be with our soul family okay so so many of us have been separated from our true family galactic family i mean we chose our parents but at the same time it was also like chosen for us from those um lords of karma who were infiltrated by those negative aliens right 
and of course we all were chipped we all had some kind of holographic implants to dumb us down to forget who we truly are so you know now we have the Schumann frequency rising up right the light is coming uh, online from those higher uh, dimensions the gamma rays frequency so DNA activation meditation being in nature being on the Sun um, pure diet um, or vegan vegetarian superfood drinking distilled water fasting okay doing yoga chanting meditation Tai Chi uh, working with crystals and just um, uh, honoring yourself loving yourself unconditionally self-love right self-forgiveness is very important invoking that violet flame of transformation transmutation um very important so uh yeah the, doing the inner work um taking care of ourselves um you know it's uh, uh, of the utmost important right now uh importance uh, in in these times of challenge but at the same time of uh, change okay so it, it, we have the right for all information so we need to understand our role why that's why uh with the 5d project protocol right people from telos they're also our family they're all telos our family um our star family you know you're asking yourself who am i why did i come here to this planet what is my mission what are my gifts and talents how can i be of service okay the protocol uh recommending people to read the protocol of the fifth dimension we are walking those energies of love and faith and grace and um uh, gratitude and compassion so um, you know things are pretty much explained here those are books from 1990s also about the love here for me so it has to be you have to start with so love there's a book called so love also written in 90s from um, Sanaya Roman I think so you can check it out um, because um, so many people are actually stuck in very dysfunctional relationships right with a negative ego and with all these negative projections because people are full of pain and trauma and unresolved um, you know things from their childhood so and that's why it's creating all this dysfunction and um disharmony and so on plus so many people are on drugs and medications or alcohol right um and you just you name it and it just distorts your perceptions um you know damages your neurobiology and so on so that's why i want to create centers where uh people can kind of um cleanse and uh, purify their uh, light body their mind their aura their energy field their emotions and so on i mean i just uh recommend yoga right meditations and so on that's why i was trying to implement it <laughs> in the military and i got a big uh, backlash and now i know why so that's why we're implementing the galactic codex here we go and the uh, divine justice is coming so and we have the right um to freedom okay so we, we have the right to explore all kinds of uh, life um expressions okay very important so and yeah it's all about our growth evolution we came here to evolve not to digress okay so very important to know the difference so then we have the law of division so um it means uh those civilizations those nations uh they have the right to be protected from those evil forces uh like it's happening also here right um that we have the protection from the galactics uh, we have the protection from the primary source okay that enough is enough and now we are um under the uh, galactic codex the universal law uh, which is part of the divine plan uh with the ascension right we are going to the next harmonic universe so um so this is the part of uh, the the, the law of division right during a conflict and then of course the light forces are here to pretty much reconcile um and um the disputes okay so so that's that then there's the the law of balance so if there is an imbalance uh, in this uh, tesseract you know in this uh, entire um universe uh, remember it's uh, never ending it's omniverse but in in this quadrant if there's some kind of uh, imbalance the galactic codex is introduced uh, to the dark forces to correct the mistakes okay if they accept it then there is forgiveness and then they can join the um, confederation galactic confederation if they don't accept the galactic codex then they are taken to the central sun and um, there'll be new divine spark is created to begin a new cycle of evolution so there's always something to do remember the dark ones and, uh, and that's why you know we're implementing all this they have extremely high advanced technology black hole technologies those black sun entities you know from the um the, with those black dragons from the visa systems they are all parasites they are they are living off of other um other energies whether of this planet of this you know 
planetary brain of, of this planetary architecture and of course people have entities why do they have entities you know you know this is part of this uh, blended reality parasitic system and you see in sometimes in relationships right instead of being uplifted you see that somebody's uh, draining you taking energy from you so then you know that the person has entities right and that's what we kept well we deal with you know like for example like if i shine the light a bright the entities come online and then why people are so angry at me or um, you know they're pointing fingers and uh, uh, there's full of judgment and so on well check your aura energy field you know what i'm saying how do you feel what triggers you um are you healing yourself are you loving yourself are you forgiving yourself do you have compassion with everything that happened to you okay it's very important to always check check it check it out you know we can even check out uh, you know marina jacobi's the quantum manifestation she kind of brings those issues and things from that scientific perspective so there are so many other uh, teachers and healers and educators. They do a wonderful job. Um, so, you know, no more excuse because so many of us are doing uh, the work, right? We have uh, YouTube channels, I mean, videos and uh, websites and so on. And I know that some people may not afford all the healing things or past life regressions, you know. Uh, but so many of us just doing uh, videos, posting videos and, uh, you know, everything is for free. But of course, uh, we appreciate any kind of donation. Uh, but we are the humanitarians okay uh, we're the volunteer souls helping uh, with the um, transitioning uh, process with the ascension so yeah then we have the law of intervention and so that's what is happening people need to uh, start being aware of and be informed that uh, you know the galactics are on our side they have to intervene there is a divine intervention because enough is enough has been so much pollution radiation destruction all these criminal activities going on um, you know the entire infrastructure has been infiltrated by the negative aliens right we had the mic the meic the military industrial complex the black sun entities with their um, um, uh, pestilence programming the armageddon software with their supercomputers you know they're sucking siphoning energies from other star systems and from humanity hijacking their consciousness and uh, they came up with all this mk ultra programming including the philadelphia project right um you know so um they're doing all kinds of experiments on us on humans so they know how it kind of functions and then they use that against us because they create all kinds of exotic weapons and technology that that, that pollute us, that digress, um, digress us, right? The depopulation agenda, that's what it's uh, also um, is included it's, uh, all about. So they can rule this world, they can rule humanity, whoever is uh, controllable. Uh, because uh, people are us, like star seeds, star workers, you don't control me, you don't manipulate me, okay? You have to also have an informed consent. So that's why the, you know, the dark, one, dark ones were not able to um, destroy this uh, body, right? Um, um, because yeah, I've been tortured, you know and they were trying to you know control me manipulate me all this electrocution and you know, just horrible things happening in the astral plane and so on and then of course um you know it gave me some kind of injection i was in psychiatry um and they were just uh, trying to get rid of this uh this this body or this being whatever and i had all kinds of experiences um um like even uh, march 2021 right the the mitra came and whatever it was trying to do and uh yeah they're, they're coming from the astral plane trying to choke me um trying to uh, hijack my consciousness they have like a technology it's like they can create a false portal it's like a vacuum cleaner like a vacuum they can suck you out of um this this false matrix so you can um generate uh, and so they can generate uh, energy from uh from me and so they can create other false matrices and so on i mean the technology technology just goes beyond any description that's why we are implementing the galactic codex that that's why there is the in intervention of the um and galactic command of our star family galactic family uh, because people need to start awakening to their true divine uh, essence to their multi-dimensionality and those things have been happening for millennia for thousands of years so this is nothing on the sun and again um, the uh, directive is the time is over for those dark ones they need to leave we are ascending okay so it's uh it's it's a command uh, it's a command uh, uh from uh from source from god from what is i am that i am 
and um, so yes yeah, so there's this invention the galactic if the galactic codex is violated and the light forces intervene to help civilization uh, because we were uh, here hijacked right this is a prison planet um, this occupied planet uh, we were not the only planet that was occupied okay and now we have war on Mars for example you can um, um, you can actually go to her YouTube channel and she even interviewed um, uh, super soldier actually who was contacting her right and he was uh, saying all kinds of things uh, what is happening and um, that person is not among us anymore because uh, right uh, he had to go uh, the that's why I'm telling you the negative ones have all kinds of exotic uh, technology and they think they will get away with it they always blame somebody here on this visible world oh Yana did this Yana did that and so on really you know what I'm saying? I've been uh, creating project for the military since 2009. I also created some kind of brochure, um, you know, to 2012. Then, of course, I, uh, they were trying to get rid of me 2013. But 2012, the uh, universal laws were already uh, implemented. So, again, they are breaking the contract. They are breaking the law, the dark ones, all the time. The elite of the negative fleet, whether the Nazis, the Black Sun entities, uh, you know, the uh, Black Dragons, the negative Dracos, the negative Reptilians. And the negative zeta reticulized i mean there are so many uh, races that's why this book you know has got the drawings it got the drawings so you can get familiar and uh, you know very important to also be meditating and centering yourself um, because um, you know time to manage your aura your energy uh, field time to be a master of your life master of your destiny okay that's why we came here okay to manage master our life nobody's going to tell us what to do but we are obeying god's law universal law the law of one the law of oneness natural laws and uh, very important to start implementing the galactic codex and through that we are creating the new earth jurisdiction okay so um yes so the galactic um the galactics are here to intervene Okay, to help the civilization that has been occupied by those negative uh, ones. And it's through peaceful means of education and military force, of course. Yeah. And uh, what else? Is the, this pretty much... Uh, it is what it is. This is what has been happening. Because these happening, we are actually resurrecting the Atlantis. The new Atlantis that actually started back in England in uh, with the Queen Elizabeth I. Okay. And, you know, there is like another story about it. Maybe I can talk about it later. Uh, but uh, this has been a project to uh, have this continent free. You know, America, Saint Germain, you know. There's a huge big history um, why this country was um, created, you know, with those 13 colonies, with the um, Declaration of Independence, with the Constitution and so on. So um, there's uh, lots of information, guys. You can also study and educate yourself and of course meditate so um, anyway I just came here to uh, go over the galactic codex um, just letting you know that the universal law was implemented upon the surface of planet earth in fall of 2012 and um, this universal law supersedes the written, written law upon the surface right I was uh, showing you I got a notice um, from the juror the questionnaire and so on you're supposed to answer them uh, but um, as um, now, um, you know, this volunteer soul, soul, soul of light, I don't actually have to. So I don't know if they'll be sending, I know I'm going to write them, I have to write them a letter and so on. And we just have to, um, you know, make a difference. We're the, we're the ones who um, are doing all these uh, um things like beautiful things we're the ones creating the new uh, new earth you know we're the ones uh, yeah with the um, uh, the new civilization well new civilization we are pretty much resurrecting our uh, et dnas and remembering who we truly are uh, but we are here creating the new golden age the Quirin age with saint germain okay freedom and divine justice and everything is coming online so um, you know, only take what resonates with you. Be patient uh, also with yourself. Forgive yourself. Love yourself. It's very important. Okay. Study those universal laws. Okay. Um, I have them on uh, on my website, yanakalai.com. You can also read this book, um, The Light Shall Set You Free. Okay. The Light Shall Set You Free. Um, also book probably also written in the 90s, uh, very long time ago. So it's... Um, 
time to live our lives, right? Uh, nobody's really should tell us what to do, wearing this, doing this. No, we have the right to ascend. We have the right to become, again, the divine, angelic, uh, luminous human beings, okay? Uh, that are... Um, uh, multi-dimensional of galactic nature and uh, you know we're part of the star nations here um, the star um, star family so the Agartha the Agartha network right the positive ones of course so yeah so this was my message for today again it was the continuation of my previous video please check that video right um, um, the galactic codex um, and um, the new uh, new earth jurisdiction and the divine justice everything Everything coming online okay so uh, my last word would be just uh, stay in peace be peace you know everything is um, uh, doing wonderful everything is coming online um, everything is uh, going the way it's supposed to be okay and um, remember the truth is within you I am you you are me we are one we are family. So many blessings and namaste. I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.